So when we're looking at the vowel diphthong few, do you hear a different sound when you say few and pew than when you say do? do. Yeah. Yeah. Do because we say do. this like this, don't we? Yes. And like this. So actually, those are homonyms. What do I mean by that? Same sound, different meaning, homonyms, homophones, okay? Aren't they all pronounced the same? Mm -hmm. Homa, same. Phone, sound. Do, do, do. Do you say do you? Look at the do you grammar. <laughs> Not normally, okay? So, is the EW a diphthong in the word do? Do you hear the same sound that you do in few and pew? When the EW says EU, and when you're counting sounds, remember you have to over enunciate. But everybody can hear, right, that, you, that few and pew have a different vowel sound than do. What vowel sound is that? We talked about it in the last class. The double O. The long double O, right? So this we have a long double O sound, which makes it like a what? Two vowels, one sound, vowel. Digraph, all right? Just remember consonant, two vowels, one sound, consonant, digraph. Vowels, two vowels, one sound, digraph. Do, do, do. Some people might say one of your bills do you. Some people say that, sometimes pronounce it differently, but for our purposes, we're not. This is what I want you to see, the differences here between pew and few. So EW is sometimes about what? EW is sometimes a vowel, vowel blend. A vowel blend, which is a diphthong. And it's sometimes it's a vowel, vowel digraph. digraph. Okay. If, there, if it makes one sound, it's a diphthong. Digraph. No, digraph. digraph. Uh -huh. If it blends and makes two sounds and glides together, it's a diphthong. diphthong. Okay. So these are the more common ones that you're going to see. But, they, but the OW and the OU can be digraphs or diphthongs. And we were talking about show and snow and no. So if I take the S off, how? Digraph or diphthong? Diphthong. Diphthong because it's ow, right? Diphthong. Ow. Mm -hmm. And what about the OW and house? Digraph or diphthong? If it blends together, if you only hear one vowel sound, and it's most always going to be a long O sound, but not always, because we'll show you those exceptions in a minute. Okay? All right. So H O W, the O W is a. Tell me again. How? It's a diphthong. But what happens if I put the S on the front of it? What does the O W become? A long O. We go from how to show, and we only hear a long O, so that makes it a, one sound, two vowels, digraph. Okay? Same thing happened when we went from now, which is a vowel diphthong, to snow, or no, changed it to a digraph, one sound, right? Digraph, one sound. Diphthong, blend, Two or more sounds. Okay, so give me some words that have the diphthong O Y. Toy. The sound boy. Toy. Boy. Destroy. Good. Oi. 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 The diphthong sound. Oi. Okay. There's another one of these diphthongs that also makes the oi sound. Which one? The oi. Okay. Give me some words, samples, of, examples of words that have the diphthong oi, which also says oi. Oil. 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 Boil. Coil. Foil. Oi. All right. So, oi, al. EU. Those are most of the vowel diphthongs that you're going to hear. You usually don't hear vowel diphthong 
your book does call it Babylon. You kind of see this on your phonics quiz. It just might be something like the bonus question. Okay. So this letter combination, O-U-G-H, can you look at that and tell me how to pronounce it? If I just said, okay, pronounce this, does it have a sound by itself? Okay. So let's look at some of the different sounds that O-U-G-H can have. Give me some words. Rough. Okay. Let's look at R. O-U-G-H. What sound does the O-U, because the G-H, okay, what sound does the G-H make in the word rough? The F. -F. Okay, that sounds like F. What other digraph did we have? Consonant digraph that can sound like F? P. -H. Look at that. Also sounds like F. Okay, so the, the G-H in rough says Okay, what does OU sound like? What vowel sound does OU have in the word rub, uh, uh? The U, the short The short U, yes it does. So this sounds like a short U. Okay, let's see what other sounds OU can have in O-U-G-H words. All right. So you would think if R-O-U-G-H is rough, C-O-U-G-H is cuff. But is it? No, not in English, okay? But the G-H still sounds like f, right? We still have the F sound there, and we know that this is k, all right? Sounds like, this is the hard sound of C, which is a k sound. We know that C can also sometimes have a, what other sound? S sound, we'll look at that in a few minutes. But what sound does the O-U have in C-O-U-G-H? The O. Oh. It has an aw sound. Actually, it sounds like a w. Aw. And an a w is a what? Two vowels, one sound. It's a two vowels and one sound. Vowel sound. A digraph. A digraph. It's a vowel digraph. Because it doesn't make an a or a what. It says aw. So it's a vowel digraph. But that so the o u in cough sounds like aw. The o u in rough sounds like a uh, short u. Give me another word with an O U G H. No. And which, okay, let's look at that one. All right, and this one, does G H have an S sound? No. What does G H do in the word vote? It's silent. It's silent. We don't hear it at all. And the T H? The long O. It's a what? The T H is a consonant. Digraph. Digraph. One sound. Is it voiced or unvoiced? Voice. Though. Voice. Yes. Okay. So we have the word though. The. We don't even need the GH. Kids are going to ask you, well, why do you have to have silent letters and words? To confuse you, okay? <laughs> um, all right. So though. So what sound does my OU have in the word though? The long O. The long O. And so the OU in the word though is a what? It's a vowel, two letters, one Digraph. sound, digraph. Okay, so I can have the short E like in rough, the A, the A, W sound like in cough, the long O sound like in the. Let's look at what happens when I put one, add one more letter here. What does this do to my OU sound when we go from though the double O. Through. Or the E W U. Is it through? This is through. Okay. So we go from though, where the O U has a long O, to through, where the O U, the o -U has a what? Long O O sound. And do we, do we need the G H? No, we still don't need that. But we have three letters at the beginning. I promise this is not a trick question, but THR, is that a blend or a digraph? It's a blend. It's a digraph. It's a blend. It's a blend. It's a digraph. It's a blend digraph. 
Okay, because TH is a digraph, right? Mm -hmm. But you can hear fur. Mm -hmm. So we're blending two sounds, right? We're blending fur. So actually, it's a blend, but you've got a digraph and a consonant. I'm not going to ask you that. Okay. Oh, that's crazy. What? Yeah. So it's like a digraph blend. Now we have the short U sound like in rough, the long O sound like in though, the A sound like in cough, the U sound like in through. What are we missing? Okay, I want you to come up with, see how many more words you can come up with, because the O-U-G-H does represent other sounds. Other than the long O, the long O-O, the A-W, and the short U. That's your bonus question. How many different sounds of the O-U-G-H, basically we're talking about the O-U vowel sound, the O-U vowel combination. Different sounds, different words. 